Facing Waves is brought to you in part by NRS, the world's leader in paddle sport accessories and apparel. With Kelly's Whitewater Park having hosted two national kayak championships since opening in 2010, it only made sense that kayaking play a significant role in the Payette River Games. With a variety of types of kayak competition and the top paddlers in the sport making their appearance, it's no surprise that the kayak events are fan favorites. So basically what we got going on for kayaking this year, we've got the down river sprint, which is the same idea as the sup, except you just gotta go straight down, do the whole, all the flat water, all the white water. The boat across, you have to do all five of the buoys and try to stay smooth. But they also decided to add the eight ball boat across, which is the exact same thing, but instead of doing the buoys, you go straight down. But we also, of course, have the freestyle kayaking. That's uh, my favorite event to do here because it's such an incredible feature. In kayak freestyle, which is one of the definitely one of the focuses of this event, it's pretty interesting because it, it can be kind of tough for spectators to understand how the scoring works and and what the what the competitors are being judged on. But it's almost kind of like a half pipe competition or something. You know, they're they're judged on the amplitude of their tricks the difficulty of their tricks, how clean they landed them if they stayed in the wave, in the hole that, on the river. And those scores are combined over a one minute ride to uh, determine the winner. It's pretty interesting to watch because the dynamics of a river recirculating on itself and then being able to do front flips and, and uh, cartwheels and rotating tricks, you know, and, and um, barrel rolls on the wave. That's pretty interesting, you know, most people haven't seen anything like that. What uh, separates the Kelly's Whitewater Park feature, the top feature where the freestyle is held, um, to all the other features around the world is that not only is it uh, really smooth and really controlled for doing a lot of tricks, um, it's very fast, so that allows you to, to really launch you in the air. It's got a lot of foam pilots, really attentive, but it has the convenience of being able to do pretty much every hole trick you can think of, as well as having a wave shoulder to do wave trick. That allows you to get the highest score you possibly can, but it also lets you do like the most moves you can do in a minute. Complementing the freestyle events are a number of head-to-head -head kayak races which show a different side of kayak competition and always get the spectators excited. So the boat across event here is stretched over three days and it's basically a time trials run to see the paddlers. And then it's, I think, primarily heats of four paddlers going head-to-head -head against each other. The time doesn't matter, it's just battling to have either the top position or the top two positions. And it's pretty impressive because you see people spinning each other out, getting stuck in the same whitewater feature and it's another crowd favorite. Whenever you have people going against each other, it's just a lot more interesting for the crowd to watch. The eight ball is the scariest and one of the more exciting and definitely most fun event to watch in kayaking. You're against four other people or maybe sometimes even five off the ramp. And it's as if that wasn't enough trying to get through the rapid, you have about 15 to 20 people out there in kayak that all they're trying to do is stop you from winning and stop you from finishing, essentially. They can make you swim, they, that's their main goal. Um, and what they'll do, they'll side surf the hole, they'll come out of the bushes, they'll pin together two people. Like, it's just all about taking you out before you can get to the finish. And uh, as soon as you hit that water without hopefully anyone landing on you off the ramp, you immediately plunge into 10 other people trying to aim at you. So it's an interesting race for sure. It's kind of like a, on a football version of kayaking, just trying to make it to the end zone with people trying to not let you get there. Um, and then spectators love it with the big hits and upsets with the fast people up front getting taken out and people snaking in behind. So it, it's a good event for everyone. 
overall we had 833 events that people registered for among all of our diversified events and about 550 athletes. Some of them do multiple disciplines. So it was quite the success. It was more than double what we had last year. I think it's one of the biggest events in Whitewater, definitely for kayaking, and I think one of the biggest for supping, definitely for Whitewater stuff. And just the ability to have every single sport you can think of here when it comes to disc golfing, golfing, kayaking, supping, everything. It's all just an incredible event. He's doing an incredible job with it. I can't wait to see what the future years have to offer.